at these competitions, you'll go into a separate room with your team, you'll, you'll say your presentation and show them your innovation project and your robot. Then they'll ask you questions and then at the end, they'll give you feedback. Then we do three real competition rounds and there's different missions and those different missions equal different points. And if you, when you get those different missions done, those referees that are with you on that table, they add up all those points and you get scored. There's like 50 teams probably and we all compete against each other, but our main rival is the, um, the Chargers. Because they're from, Singing, they're from Hills. Singing Hills. We still kind of work with these small little robots. But then once you get seventh, eighth, most uh, high school, um, you'll build something like these three over here. And if you grow up and you want to be an engineer or perhaps a coder, it just teaches you the basics. We program it and then we download it and we numbered it on our robot. So once we're on the mat, we can take just one of those numbers and hit the go button and then it starts that program. And then when it starts, it's just a competition of better programming and better build. We also cheer for our teammates. It's sort of just to inspire people to not give up. Mm -hmm. Also, cheering gives us extra points. None of us have used a spike prime and it was a little challenging because it was different from the EV series, which I didn't do, but Lane did. Um, but we got through it by knowing what we didn't know about coding and using that to our advantage. But the spike primes, you have to be more specific because like one rotation makes our car go all the way underneath our robot. So I have to use fractions to make sure it doesn't go all the way underneath our robot. The problem with ours is it's, it's working for a little bit, but then the code gets all scrambled up, which doesn't work on the table. It doesn't help us. We have to just go with it and try and angle it to go where we need it to. And this past round, um, when I was up there, our robot went wrong, and um, so we got 110 points. The other team from Singing Coast, the Chargers, got 120 points. Whether you win or lose, it doesn't really matter. It's just me, I've been one of the main programmers. It just it disappoints me when my programming doesn't work the way I want it to. So I really just sort of get over it. Put a fake smile on for a little bit until it actually feels like it's real.